Hello everyone, welcome back to another tu uh, tutorial from Grid CG. I'm Toby and I'm your teacher. Should I say teacher? Yeah, YouTube teacher. So anyways, this part we're going to be making this, um, you know, wing right here. One of my favorite parts in car, which I like to be perfect. Yeah, when, you know. So as you can see, it's pretty smooth, pretty nice. Let me try to see it from another matte cap, this red one. Yeah, you can see it's pretty good. And the way you'd make it, it's not really being very careful. There's no special uh, form, no special rules to follow. Just me placing vertices, but just being very, very careful. So, yeah. So, uh, sorry for the uh, delayed updates and the times I spent away from YouTube. I was just trying to get some things in place, which they really are in their place, but I'm just going to try to make the videos more consistent so anyways we are going to get started with this so let me just open the normal file and ah, I'm just gonna save it so anyways we're gonna be starting from this one and we'll go ahead and enable our background images so turn that on uh, let's just select this first one someone complained about it being very bright so I'm just gonna go to back the image uh, stuff here and uh, we're just gonna Go to opacity and select that and reduce it all the way down. Something like this. This is cool. So at least we can still see the markings. So uh, what you think, we're not duplicating anything. So this one, we're actually going to start modeling from this one. So first of all, I'm going to start with this uh, vertex right here. Hold on. Press A and uh, you select it. So we're going to start with this one right here this lonely vertex on top of this spot here so go to the side view and just extrude this all the way to the end I've seen a lot of people try to make this on their own because I d made so much delay so yeah they were nice but I did they weren't really as smooth as I hope so <clears throat> that's why I was really excited to make this part first as yeah the exterior modeling so let's just go continue with this so yeah, this is a nice enough curve as you can see. So the next one we're gonna start from the other end and take the one on top, very top here. Go to the side view, and this one has a little bit of offset from here, so you can ignore that uh, distance and just try to make it as cool as possible. So you drop this one here and Control R, add three vertices here also, and move this up to get a nice enough curve. So yeah, let's just do that. Go to object mode to see your curves very well, as nice as they should be. So this is cool. Yes. Okay, let me bring this down a bit. So next one we're going to do is the one on the center right here. So extrude this and uh, bring it somewhere close to the center, but not really. And add three vertices, one, two and bring it up and try to make the curve to follow as it should be let me do this one next not too aggressive but something really nice you can just try as much as possible to do it as i am doing it so these are pretty nice but no this is not how they look like from top so we can go to the top view and actually do the same thing with our opacity here and just bring that way down so now we get this and just try to align this to the top side so yeah there's a kind of a an opening here so I don't really see it on the cars really I've checked and I don't see it and it's quite difficult to make but let's see if we can do that in this tutorial I didn't make it in practice well let's no let's just wing it and see how it goes just try to align this as cool as possible and here and here and then this one <clears throat> this one comes right here Let me see if I can try to move this one forward a bit on this side. Go here and uh, oh, let's just leave it like this. 
so when we're adding the rest we're gonna find a way to you know get these spacings more accurate so we have two within here and one here so let's move this one over to the side some more but let it be like on top of things like so probably this is kind of distance from the top so let's go to the side view and try to correct that and bring this up like so so now the next one we're going to be tackling is this one right here the vertex at the very top and extrude all the way to this side yes all the way to this side and bring it up here and we're going to add three vertices in between and bring this up deselect and uh, deselect bring this up yeah this looks cool enough go to the top view and correct that let's move this one first and see sorry yeah this looks cool enough so we have very sharp lines so the next one is this one over here vertex at the very top extrude all the way to the end add vertices three yes and uh just aligning them the way they should be yeah kind of uh, writing on the top there just being casually being tight so let's deselect this just like this one and move this one up a little bit ouch so yeah this one still looks cool so seven top view and let's try to arrange that perfectly so move this one first <clears throat> and uh, arrange this so let's see how it goes yeah this looks cool enough now the last one from this corner right here let's extrude that all the way to the end and let's select everything here scale this on the y-axis and press zero and uh, add three vertices on this one we just put in here and raise this up somewhere here deselect okay let's select this one move it up and this is what we have let's try to move it from the top over to here So, yes. Yeah, this is cool enough. Seems like someone's looking for me, but I'm just gonna ignore that. So, let's do this. Press F and press F all the way through. Do for the next one. Press F. After this, we might still need to make some uh, adjustments to the curves, but yeah, for now, this is cool. So, press F all the way. Press F all the way. So press A, Shift N to recalculate the normal shape smooth to see what we got here. So this curve now is too steep for me, and this one is a little bit raised more than what it should be. So let's just arrange that uh, as it should be. So this one, so come up and come here, or this one needs to come down, and this one needs to come up. So yeah, that's what we have. Let's move on to the next one. Or we can just arrange this first to make it have straight lines. Like so. So now let's look at this to see if it's cool enough. Alright, alright. They look good. They look good. So now, uh, let's just try and get this stuff on the way. So we are going to use the knife tool, which makes everything easier. So... Yeah, so 
uh, use the cake for knife tool and then just cut we will weigh all the weight so I'm thinking I should make this line over here which just makes it you know what I'm just gonna cut everything out and leave a gap here so let's just do that since we have the perfect shape we need we don't have to be worried about whatever is gonna happen next so just gonna cut through here yeah we're gonna put this one here and just you know keep cutting till you get what you need and cut all the way through to the other side press enter so now it's a little bit janky so you can arrange that the way that is needed so everything in between here we're not going to delete it so <clears throat> what we want to do is try to make it a separate object on its own so hit y to separate that then move it around and then hit p to separate selection so we're gonna like hide this for now no do not hide that so we might still need it so go to seven top view so let's try to make some of these quads back so if you you can come all the way gg press e and just leave it at that you can adjust some of it when you're done so now you can control r here and add a new cut and hit j so this one right here it can you know okay yeah hit k to cut one line through here and hit enter so now we would like to separate these parts from the original one we use so control r here and press e to and then f to align to the bottom and we have the line as thin as this hold on let's make it thinner Yeah, this is cool so go to face selection and select everything on this line okay yeah we have a gap here that is not following so just use k to cut a line through here press enter so now you have an extra face here to select and press x and delete faces so now you have this so press l on this one and hit p to separate selection so now we come to this so we can fix things that went wrong so I'm going to use our knife tools, hit K to cut from here all the way down to here. Don't worry, nothing is going to get spoiled. So we have two faces here that can become a quad. So we fixed that. So we have a fairly good uh, smooth face. Yeah, look, all, these, all these look cool. They look cool. Although I wished this would go through here, but yeah, this is this is good enough. So now for this one we can correct a few things although we only have one triangle here you know what i'm just gonna make it one triangle is cool we can handle that so select this one whole shift select this one press a and then we're gonna extrude it so e and then just bring everything down so it's still cool that they're separate objects because we're gonna give them separate materials and i don't want them cl clashing into each other so this one now we're gonna add a look up in the center here I'm gonna add it for this one too so and uh, select both of them sorry both of the lucas we just added and control b to bevel that so bring it right here and for this one we're gonna add a loop cut e and just slide it all the way to the edge probably just close to the edge not really at the edge so do the same for this one e F, but this one really needs to come far so it won't hinder the curvature of some things so add another one here press e and then f to bring it here like so so press a shift n to recalculate the normals and the next thing you want to do is on this one right here so let's press say this one press l and hide it so on this one here you want to Go to vertex select so we can see the selection better and select everything here so shift e to sharpen that edge and do the same for here so shift e to sharpen the edge and alt h to bring those back i believe we can still do the same for this one here we don't need to hide it just enter it alone and shift e to sharpen the edge and uh <clears throat> 
sorry. Yes, Shift E to sharpen the edge. So now we have something that looks like this, which is really cool. I didn't think I would make the separation right here, right now, but I did. And it looks really cool. It gives it that extra, you know, detail and some stuff like that. So, yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. This is what, it was a, like a quick one, but there wasn't much to do. Although there's a lot to do, I didn't really want to do much. So, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. And, hold on. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video, please. Yeah, subscribe. And, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.